the perspective grid tool, or in fact, the perspective tool in Illustrator. How do you use it? How do you go about uh, putting something on the perspective grid? Well, that's what we're going to cover in this computer tutoring training session. Now, firstly, let's turn on our perspective grid tool. So over here in our toolbox, if you look down here, you can see our perspective grid tool. If I just zoom in so you can see that very clearly, there we go. So just give it a click. And when you click on it, you can see that the perspective grid here appears. Now, as long as you have the perspective grid tool selected here, you could adjust things like the vanishing point. So where, you know, how much of a vanishing point there. You can adjust things like where, which viewpoint you see this from. So uh, is it from top down here? Yeah, you can adjust that or you can adjust this here. Uh, sorry, not that one there. That's the next one down. There we go. So you can just adjust where you see it at street level. There's different other options as well you can change. So here you can be like an ant on the floor looking up or underneath if you want to as well. There's various options that you can use and change so you can get the perspective group view looking exactly as you want. So I'm just going to drag myself down and bring myself down a bit more to street level here as well. Great. So the next thing is putting something on the perspective grid. Well, you can put any vector-based graphic. So let's say, for instance, I've got a clock that I've done earlier, uh, one of my infographics that we can see on our Pinterest page. So what I'm going to do is going to place that. I'm going to go to File and Place. And there's my vector clock. I'm just going to double click on that. And there's my vector clock. I'm just going to draw it on the page. There we go. That's fine. Uh, I can adjust the size. It's probably best to sort of adjust the size now-ish with it. So I'm just going to adjust it, make it a little larger, hold down the Shift key. That seems good. All right, then. So now what I can do is I can use the perspective selection tool here on the left hand side. And with that tool selected, I can now include or drag that clock onto the perspective grid. So now it comes or it always now appears in perspective. That's fantastic there. So there we go. So you can draw whatever you need to. Now, the reason that went on the left hand side there is because I had the left grid selected just in this little section, this little widget over here. Uh, so what I want is if I say I wanted to draw a star on the right hand side, if I choose the right grid, all right, and then if I choose a shape, so let's just, for instance, let's choose a star tool. Brilliant. Uh, that's good. And I go to the right hand side. When I draw, let's just hold down the space bar and move this around a bit. That's good. So when I draw, it's going to draw a star on the right. Let me just fill it with the color so you can see. That's a nice yellow color. We'll do the trick. There you go. So you can see now the star is drawn in perspective. So I can do vector graphics. If I want to write text and that, that's not a problem at all. I can do that uh, as well. I just can't write in uh, or I just can't place images onto the perspective grid. If I try to do that, then I will get an error. So any vector graphics, not a problem at all. Any images, you'll have to keep them simple. You'll have to rasterize the images as well. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, please add any comments at the bottom. Try and get back to all the comments that we can. Any suggestions as well about the videos. Uh, try to do them as I'm going around doing my training courses. Uh, try to add in. And when I get new ideas, I'll try to add them in as well. Uh, please give it a thumbs up as well if you've got anything out of this uh, training video would be very much appreciated and thank you so much for watching.